Ever catch yourself wondering what's going on in that brand new baby's head? You know, like your new niece or nephew. Like, are they really just seeing a blurry mess? It's really amazing how much we've learned about that. Turns out babies are taking in way more than we used to think, even before they can tell us about it. So today we're doing a deep dive into baby vision, how they see and understand the world. We're going to be focusing on this fascinating research, actually, from the book 40 Studies That Changed Psychology, all about how babies see. And the researcher who really cracked the code on this was Robert Fance. Yeah, Fance. And, you know, before Fance, psychologists were kind of stuck. It's like, how do you even begin to study the mind of someone who can't talk, can't follow instructions? How do you know what they're even looking at? Yeah, that's a tough one. So how do you figure it out? How did Fance crack the baby code? Well, it's funny. The inspiration came from baby chicks. You know how yeah. chicks, like, almost as soon as they hatch, they'll start pecking at anything that looks like food? Yeah, they're hardwired for that, right? <laughs> like, find food, survive. Yeah, exactly. So Fance thought, what if babies are doing something similar with their eyes? What if by watching where they look, we can actually learn something about what they see and what they understand? So instead of asking babies what they're thinking, he decided to watch where their eyes were drawn to. What did he do? Like, put tiny cameras on them. Uh-huh. Not quite. He built what he called a looking chamber. Imagine like a comfortable space where a baby could lie down and then there'd be this display above them showing different images. Okay, so it's like a baby art exhibit, but for science. Exactly. And he'd show them two images side by side, like stripes versus the bullseye, or even a face next to a scrambled face. And by measuring how long they looked at each one. You could tell which they preferred. Yeah. And get this, even really young babies, like just weeks old, they weren't just looking randomly. They had very clear preferences. And those preferences, they told us something incredible about how babies see the world. So those tiny eyes were holding some pretty big secrets. So the babies are telling us something with their eyes. What does Fance learn? What were those big secrets? Well, Fance's research had two big discoveries. First, babies. They dig complexity. They liked looking at more visually interesting stuff. So like a bullseye is way more interesting to a baby than just a plain circle. Yeah, exactly. Or a checkerboard instead of a plain square. Like their brains are searching for details, you know, to help them learn and grow. Makes sense like they're born knowing they got to exercise those brain muscles. And that kind of leads to the second big discovery, which is maybe even more wild, the power of the face. Okay, yeah, tell me about that. I've always wondered about that, like how babies see faces. So every age group fans looked at. Babies were completely mesmerized by anything that looks like a face. They'd spend so much more time looking at those, even with the features all mixed up. Like something just pulls them in, even before they really know who their parents are. And think about it, recognizing faces. Super important for survival, right? For bonding, for learning to communicate. It's basically built into us. It's like, even as adults, we're always drawn to faces in a crowd, you know? Like some primal instinct. Totally. Shows how deep-rooted this preference is. But what's really cool about Fance's work, it's not just what he found, but how it changed the game for studying babies. It's like he found the secret code to understand those little brains. Right. Before Fance, a lot of people thought babies were just blank slates, that they had to learn everything from scratch. But Fance showed us they come preloaded, ready to go. Yeah. And that's huge. It means babies are born ready to learn. They have these basic abilities, and those become the building blocks for everything else. So Fance, he really changed the game for understanding how babies see, right? But his work didn't stop there, did it? It kind of opened up a whole new world of research. Oh, absolutely. That idea of watching where babies look, that sparked a ton of new research on baby brains. Like what, what did other researchers do with that? Well, they took Fance's looking technique and said, okay, how much do babies actually understand about like how stuff works? about the physical world. And they started doing these really clever experiments. Like imagine you show a baby a picture, same one, over and over, a red circle, let's say. They'd get bored, right? Totally, and they'd start looking away faster each time. But here's the thing, if you show them something new, something different, bam, they're interested again. Like, ooh, something new to check out. Yeah, that's actually called the habituation dishabituation method. And by seeing what kind of new image grabs their attention, we learn what differences they can actually see and understand. That's so wild. It's like such a subtle thing, but it tells us so much. And get this, they use this method to show that even babies as young as four months old, they can tell the difference between something that could happen in real life and something that like, totally couldn't. Impossible versus possible 
for a four-month-old. What does that even mean? So think of it like this. You see a ball roll behind a screen. You expect it to come out the other side, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's possible, but what if it, like, vanished, never came out? Okay, yeah, that's just weird. Exactly. It breaks the rules of how things work. And researchers found that even little babies, they'll stare longer at those impossible things. Like, they know something's not right. So they get basic physics even before they can walk. It really makes you think. Babies are coming into the world with, like, a basic understanding of how things should work. They're not just starting from zero. All because fans decided to just watch where they looked. Amazing. It really is. It just shows the power of observation and asking those like really simple but profound questions makes you wonder, what else are we missing? What other secrets are hiding in those baby stares? Right. It's like a whole universe of thought in those tiny humans we're just starting to understand. Ah. Well, on that note, gotta thank you for joining me on this deep dive. Until next time, everyone, stay curious.